How's it going, guys and gals? It's me, your boy, your daddy, the most incredible player to ever, well, play games. Uh, XX Master Chief XX uh, 420 Slayer here. And in today's discussion, I want to talk about uh, PCs and consoles, and really the discussion between the two and uh, my opinions on the matter, whether people believe one's better or not and if it is. And I just want to give a breakdown really of my thoughts on uh, the matter, the discussion of the two topics, and uh, the big generalization I can give you is when it comes down to arguments or people's conversations about the PC master race versus the, the console master race, me personally, I do not really care. I don't. Now, if you're watching this, you most likely already know that most games that are released, they will be released and playable on both platforms, whether you're playing on PC or console, the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, etc. And the difference between the two is really uh, what comes down to, in my opinion, is the exclusivities. Certain examples of that is look at the PlayStation exclusivities, for example. Uh, you have uh, this 2018, uh, two good examples for PlayStation 4 are God of War, and then you had the Spider-Man, uh, Marvel Spider-Man by Insomniac Studios. Uh, those are both uh, PlayStation, PlayStation exclusives. On the PS5, you have the Demon's Souls remake. And uh, those games are really good, and those games alone kind of give, at least in my opinion, if you're someone who... You know, you play a lot of games, you consider yourself a gamer, you play a vast variety and a range of genre of games, right? You most likely will get a console, depending on what platform you play on, just because of certain exclusivities you want to play, right? So me, for example, what I'm getting at is, yeah, I mean, I have a PC, and I mostly have my games on my uh, computer, but the reason why I still play consoles, such as like my PlayStation 4 remote right here, I still, I still will touch my console. Is for certain exclusivities to play. I still love playing certain games that are on console, just because of the fact that they're not accessible elsewhere. So like Bloodborne, I'll, I love playing Bloodborne. I'll go back and replay that game, but it's only on my PlayStation 4. It's not released elsewhere. So that's the reason why I have the console. It's to play games like that, God of War, Spider Man. Um, and the only reason why I don't have one currently, the only reason why I'm, I really want to get PlayStation 5 is for the same reason. Right now, when it comes to exclusives, really, I'm only looking forward to playing the Demon's Souls remake and the future lineup of exclusivity games that will be released, such as the sequel to 2018's God of War. So I brought up the exclusivities of games, really because those are just examples as to why I will go on console and touch a console. Um and play games on console. Now, it's not that I uh, have a problem console, given that I mostly play on PC now. I started off on console. I still have a nostalgic feeling going back and playing certain games on certain consoles. And I still enjoy playing games on console. It's just um, I will most likely play them on PC just because I, I have a high-end rig. I have... Uh, my PC has greater specs compared to uh, what's limited to the specs inside of a console. Now that get, now that being said, um, do I necessarily think that, oh, just because this has certain specs, is this automatically better? Am I going to like this more? Am I never going to touch those? It No, it's not. I, I will probably most likely always, just to play games, still buy consoles, new generation consoles, when they release, because those consoles will most likely always have exclusivities because it's kind of a reason, you know, for you, the consumer, and, you know, being a gamer, to have any interest in buying those products from those companies. So, no, I don't think one is better than the other. Now, when it comes down to the breakdown of specs, if you want to get technical, yeah, the nice thing about a PC is uh, you, if you have the money, you can always afford to uh, upgrade your PC or build like 
whenever you want with the newest, the latest high-end uh, specs, whereas consoles, you are limited to what they put out. So, like PlayStation 4, for example, your PlayStation 4 specs, like, you know, you have just a hard drive, right? Whereas in your PC, you could install, whenever you want, an SSD. But it's not like Sony had decided, oh, hey, look, you can choose to... Uh, I have the hard drive or the SSD. It's like, no, this is what's inside. Here's a console. We already have that given to you. You don't have to worry about upgrading it or anything like that. Just uh, play these lineup of games, right? Whereas PC, uh, even if your PC meets game requirements, you always have the freedom to uh, swap out certain parts that you want to upgrade your PC with. Given... Uh, basically how well your preferences how you want to approach it what kind of build you want how powerful so based off what i had just said about uh the whole uh, specifications when it comes to these consoles and computers the differences and you may be able to see why it's easier to choose the pc over consoles right because pc you have more freedom to uh, continue to upgrade it and further improve your build, whereas console, you're kind of restricted to what uh, the company has already put inside of their consoles, right? And you might have to wait for a good example, like there's a PlayStation 4, but you might have to wait for the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is a little bit better, and usually that's several years after the, the first model has already, you know, been released and had, you know, fan base playing those consoles but I will say now this is where things get kind of different basically these new consoles are custom built PCs they have uh, they have swapped out the storage with SSDs for those who don't know they're solid state drives that uh they're like they're they're basically storage like a hard drive but um they're able to read applications faster so it can you know it can open up it can close it can uh, load screen times really fast compared to the speed of a hard drive it has they have custom faster CPUs processors in the last generation that helps with the speed of uh, how things process in the game they have their own custom GPUs graphics cards for those that, under that don't understand where you know the quality of the game, the look, it's only going to keep getting better. The design of the consoles have to, they've designed them in a way where it's, it can cool off better. Heat doesn't build up so much, which is a plus. And given the specifications, these new consoles, like compared to now newer PCs, of course, if certain games allow it, you can play up to 4K. Uh, some games can go... Uh, up to 60 frames per second some may even be able to go up to 120 frames per second and the the refresh rate on certain screens might be able to go to 60 hertz or 120 hertz to match those frames per second right depending on certain games that allow the specifications they allow it but keep in mind all this is pretty fairly kind of new stuff to where not every game can do this but uh, it's beginning to happen. And they also have uh, not just 4K, but they also have ray tracing capabilities. So basically, the reason why I bring up the specs of the current generation, I'm coming down to this whole console versus PC uh, you know, debate or discussion, is really because my, my previous point where I said these new consoles, this newer generation, are basically becoming custom-built like PCs, basically like what's inside these PCs, you can kind of get like a pre-bill if you don't want to build your own uh, for like the same price elsewhere. Because um, the PS5, the Xbox Series X, now they have ray tracing, like I had previously said. So ray tracing basically renders uh, the realism of like light from like, say for example, the a sun. If you're playing a game that has the sun in the sky and the sun generates light in the game, it will have a better time of making the light seem realistic uh, where you're at in certain areas of the game, okay? Hopefully it's understandable. Um, I don't know if that's too, that was a bit much or not expressed enough. 
but now there's HDR technology, which is basically it's just like it makes things a little bit high def. Like you're a if you're already playing in 1080p, everything's very HD. HDR essentially what it does is it just makes if you enable that certain qualities of certain areas or things in the game you may be playing, if it is allowed or capable to, you'll be able to make things look even better than they already are. They'll look even brighter in color. Given the specs, and I've already talked about exclusivities, nowadays, is there really uh, a big difference between console and PC? Sure. Uh, like I previous, previously uh, stated, with a PC, you can always like take out parts and always uh, add in new ones. You're kind of restricted to that or limited to being able to have that freedom on console. But now consoles and games on PC on both platforms, whatever you're playing on, if certain games allow it, you can use certain techno technologically advanced features that we are beginning to put in these games. And so essentially both platforms can kind of do both things really um it really just comes down to exclusivities and that's why now i don't necessarily think one is better than the other i mean will so for me for example will i keep playing games on pc yeah i you know i will keep playing majority of time my my main platform will be on my computer but will i still buy uh, consoles that can run the same specifications on certain games, of course, especially because there are still games on console I want to play that will not be accessible to my PC. You're going to come down to the choice of getting both, no matter what platform you're on. Whether you start off on console or PC, if you're into games and want to play games, you're probably going to eventually invest in other platforms to play certain games, which is what I will do and continue to do. Because no matter what platform I'm playing on, uh, either way, playing the game, it's all about the experience and the experience of having those games and playing through them. And the platform is kind of second guess in the back of your mind. You're not really thinking about the platform, you're thinking about the game itself. At least I am. I'm thinking about, yeah, I'm playing on PlayStation, or I might be playing on my uh, computer, but really what I'm focused on is the game. So really what it comes down to is, hey, is one really better than the other nowadays? I don't really think so that much. So now if it comes down to the point where you're like, is it console versus PC nowadays? I wouldn't really say so, uh, given the how the new generation of consoles are and like the new generations of uh, PCs when it comes to uh, tech, graphics card, etc. And basically what both platforms are capable of doing with their uh, games. Yes, I'm sure in terms of specs and hardware capabilities, one is going to probably top the other in this discussion. But really, in my opinion, what I look forward to, what it comes down to, is the games, the experience. And I think both serve that pretty well, given the lineup or the library of games that uh, are out and what will continue to release. So, for me personally, I like them both. I, it's always come down to that. I will continue to play games, whether it's on console or PC, I will play on both. I like them both. I think they're both great. And also, given what's released in this new generation of consoles, and just games in general, I will continue to be excited and astounded by you know, the breakthroughs and how we can further enhance and increase the technology we already have in both computers and consoles to where we can make games even better. And I will continue to play and support both for as long as I go on. So that's really what it comes down to, in my opinion. I think they're both great. I'm not very picky. Um, if you liked what you saw, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content if you enjoy what you're seeing around here. Dislike if you dislike it. My name is Joseph, and I am out.